Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Workado in a Minute. My name is Manav, and I'll be explaining how to mask the sensitive data in your recipes. Within your businesses, you want to ensure that your customers and employees' sensitive data is as secure as possible. Not only does that mean protecting against external attacks, but also commonly overlooked internal threats that you can avoid by using data masking. Whether it's personally identifiable information, financial data, business rules, or even compensation data, you can use data masking to hide it from others who do not need access to it. Let's take a look at how it works. This automation collects employee data from Workday and creates an identity for that same employee in Okta. When I go into the testing environment, which just means clicking test jobs at the top of the page, I can look at the input and output data for the selected step. After expanding this data, you can see some personally identifiable information like first and last name, birth date, marital status, and even ethnicity. While Workado needs that data in order to rerun jobs without having to recreate trigger events, it definitely is not something that teams operating on these automations need access to. In order to mask your input and output data, all you need to do is go back to the recipe edit screen, right click on your trigger step and click mask data. Note that you can right click on any step to mask the data, but in our example, we'll only be masking the trigger step. After saving your recipe, you wanna go back into the testing environment and repeat the job so that it's up to date. After we repeat this job, we're gonna go back into the input and output screens and hopefully see something different. As I mentioned, now when we open the input and output tabs, you're met with an alert, the data is masked and no longer available for visual display. If you wanna learn more about increasing your recipe security, check out the security best practices on Ricardo Docs linked in the description below. Anything you'd like us to cover in future Ricardo in a Minute videos, drop us a note at product.ricardo.com and thanks for stopping by.